Ignis the Mad. This is a powerful fire-based caster. Uh, he's kind of an interesting character. He's got three stars as he comes out, and you can farm to get him higher star levels to further increase those stats. He's got a lot of synergies with other fire-based characters, as you'll see. We'll look at his traits. This first one, Pyromaniac, boost damage versus burning targets. So if you can, some fire-based units, there are a lot of things that they can do to inflict burning status. Um, burning is kind of a lot like the poison status in that it kind of drops their health over time. Um, but here there are some benefits. If they're burning them, they can take even more damage. So, and he's immune to the f to fire attacks. So we see a couple units that have got immunities to their own element. So he's got medium attack, very low defense, these fairly standard caster traits, fairly low health. Um, he's got the fire resist. Look at his abilities. His basic attack and then this firewall. So his very first ability here, it's a ranged fire attack that does very little d damage. And actually as you level it up, you can see here it's not increasing by much. It's very low damage, but it puts up a firewall in between you and your opponent. And if the opponent crosses the wall, say for any melee attack, then they get the burning status. So they start being affected by that. And once they have that status on, then his damage goes way up. He gets this huge bonus multiplier. So there are situations where he could do some massive damage having inflicted that. It, it's going to take a little bit of time, so maybe not great for, uh, for dungeon raiding, where those first two turns are so critical. Here it's going to take a turn or two to even set up his, you know, his next high attack. After you ascend him, you get this energy drain looks really interesting. Um, he's going to drain two energy from the enemy and add it to his own. So that'll help, you know, cool down for his other skills and potentially for his third skill as well that he ends up getting and deals a fair amount of damage. And then he further increases uh, crit and skill for all the fire allies. You can see it would still going to take a bit to get this. We've got 12 of these monarch type and uh, the Crypt Evo. So it would be quite a while, but at that point, then it would be an interesting skill to get as well. I don't think he's going to make it into the group of characters that I'm trying to keep leveled so that I can actually use them. It's just too far away from getting that next ascension, and um, I think it, it takes a little bit too long. He's got kind of a momentum issue. You've got a, a lot of times if you're doing, you know, there's not too much synergy with a uh, disparate element team and it takes too long to get him started for something like the uh, the dungeon rating. So for now he's going to stay stay low level and maybe after I get to higher levels or to the level cap then I'll break him back out and try to, try to increase him again.